All right. Uh, very good morning. Very good evening, everyone. Welcome to Smart Technologies. Uh, today, I'm going to quickly demonstrate on the Oracle database startup sequence and what are the dependent file on each of those startup stage or startup sequence of my database. So as you can see here in my screenshot or the image, uh, it has typically three startup sequence or startup stage. Shutdown is a completely down. So your database is down or instance is down from shutdown to no mount, from no mount to mount, mount to open. So these are a typical three stages of my database startup sequence. Startup no mount, startup mount and startup open or just startup. So what are those dependent files in each of these stages? So Oracle database has a three startup sequences or startup stages. One is very basic stage. That's a startup no mount. In this no mount state, it will read SP file. If SP file is not found, it will read for the P file. And if the P file is not found, it will throw an error message stating that unable to find a parameter file. Again, quick update on SP file and P file. SP file and P file are the parameter files, which is a key value pair, which contains a key and associated value. For example, DB name is a key. And then what's your database name? That's your value. And control file is a key. And what are your control file location? Those are the values. And processes is a key. And how many processes your database can handle? And SGA target is a key. And what's the SGA target value? So those are like list of parameters for Oracle support. So all those you put it into this SP file and P file. And you can start your database instance using that particular P file and SP file. So highest priority will go to SP file, which is a binary file. You cannot read it. And the second priority will go to P file. Always first database will look for SP file. If not found, it won't look for a P file. If not found, it will throw an error message that unable to find your parameter file. Right. Once your database instance is started with the no mount using that SP file or P file, then you're going to go to mount state. Or you can directly do startup mount state. Even if you do startup mount, first you're going to go for no mount and then you're going to go for mount, mount state. So this mount state will come after the no mount. In this mount state, it will read for the control file. In case if no control file found, then it will throw an error message stating that unable to find control files. So again, quick update on the control file. Control file is kind of a heart of your database, which knows everything about your database. Your database creation time, your database, whatever the data file location, radio log file location, and what's the sequence number, what's the backup information, what's your archive log information, and what is your database structure information, and what is the checkpoint information, what is the SCN information, and your backups, archive logs, and all those things. Whatever related to your database, all the database or details will be in this control file, and which is again binary file, you cannot read that. And with this control file, you can create a trace file and then you can read it, what's the content of that. So yeah, so that's the second state from no mount to mount. And once your database goes to mount state, then finally it's gonna go into open state. So you can do just startup, that'll gonna take you to open mode or just do startup open, that'll gonna take you to open mode. So this open state will come after the mount state. The moment you do startup or startup open, so you're gonna go for first no mount followed by mount and then you're gonna go for open mode. So this open state will come after the mount mode in this open stage, it will read the data files and online read log files. In case of no data files or no read log files found, then it will throw an error message stating that no data file found or no read log file found. So this is the diagrammical or pictorial representation of uh, what I explained so far from shutdown to no mount, no mount to mount and mount to open. From shutdown to no mount, it will gonna instance will start. It will gonna read first SP file or P file. So if SP file and P file not found, then it's gonna not start. So from no mount to mount, it's gonna read the control file and it's gonna go into mount mode. In case of no control file found, your database will never go to mount mode. In case of mount to open state, all the data file will get open prescribed in this control file. It needs all the data files and log files and your database finally will get opened. So this is a just a explanation quickly get onto the lab and then quickly have a demo on that. So right now here I have a database called DevDB and all the environmental variables are set already. 
So I can quickly connect to my database. Says TBA. I can check show parameter SP file. Show parameter SP file. So it says it started with this Oracle home and DBS SP file dev db datora. So I can quickly take one duplicate session and then I can move that SP file and P file, whichever available on that particular location. Let's go here. This is location and go to this DB home and DBS. Right here, lsfnltr sp file dev db dot ora lsfnltr init dev db dot ora. So this whatever starts with the init that's your p file, and whatever starts with the sp file dev db dot ora that's your sp file. Whatever start with this init that's your p file. So I'm just going to move all both of this file. First, I'm going to move my sp file as a backup and then I'll move my init file that's a p file as a backup so now I don't have any sp file and p file so now I can quickly kill my database instance I'm not going to talk about anything on the database shutdown sequence so we'll take it in the second hop or we'll take it in the next session now I'm totally concentrated on this startup sequence so my one of the process that's the S mount process I kill. One of the mandatory background process I kill. So your database instance is down now. Now you can connect to your database SQL plus SSTB. It says connected to idle instance. Now if I do startup, I can do startup no mount. So it says failure in processing a system parameters could not open your parameter file, Oracle home, DBS, init. First, it's gonna look for SP file. SP file is not available, it look for P file, P file not available, then it will throw that error message. Fair enough. Now, I'll move them both. MV, whatever backup, I'll move with original name, and then move your P file. So now we have both ls tr dev db. So I have these are like ignore no no don't worry about this lock and this hc and then the snapshot and the password file. We'll we'll talk in the in the in the future session. But now I'm talking about only on this init file that's a parameter file and this sp file that's a binary file binary parameter file. So now I have both. So as per my definition, so first it won't look for SP file. It found SP file, then it will never look for in this init file. It want to read this SP file and start your database instance. So now let's say I'm going to do startup no mount. Startup no mount, then it's going to start your database from shutdown to no mount. So it's going to read this SP file, and once the SP file is found, then it's going to process those parameters and it's going to start it. Now, if I do show parameter SP file, so it found this SP file, and then started your database instance. Fair enough. Now I can again kill my database instance. Till minus nine. Or else we can do before killing that one. So I can connect back to uh, describe. Or we can say select name, comma, name from VDollar control file. So no row selected right now. Or else before that, we can do one more thing. Show parameter control. So you can do show parameter control or what you can do, sorry, uh, what we can do now, so since your database is started in no mount here, startup no mount, so I cannot query with the select name from with a control file and then get the control for detail. 
And instead of that, I'm doing show parameter control file, get my control file name. These are my current control file. So I can quickly take one session here. The notepad, um, I can list out both the control files. Right. So these two are my control file, control file one and control file two. So again, I'm not going to explain about why two control file. That's called multiplexing of control file. Let's take it in a in a future session. What is multiplexing of this control file? Why we need to keep multiple control files? That's a simple definition. One control file corrupted. You have another control file too. You know, recover your control file which is lost or corrupted. So we'll take it in details in future session. But now. These are the two control files where my database is referring. Now I can go to this individual location. I'll move this control file. Let's go here. I have this session. I'll go into this one. And then I can move this one, this control file. Move as a backup. Control file one is lost. I'll go to the second control file location. CD. So I have this second control file here. Move that one as well as a backup name. Right, so both the control files are lost now. So now, as per my definition here, I have to do startup mount. So already my database is started in no mount. So I have another option. In order to do this one, you have to shut down your instance again and then do the startup. Instead of that, you can do one more command, alter database mount. So that, so that it's gonna, Directly. So what I'm telling to my database already your database instance is started in no mount Then don't shut it down and then start it from the mount mode directly go to mount mode from this no mount mode Alter database mount so I can use this command as well If your database is already if your database instance is already started in no mount then directly you can use this one alter database mount So I'll go back to this session here. I can do alter database mount and then it's going to say that unable to start, unable to process control file. It says error in identifying control file. Check alert log for more details. So alert log, I can do simple query. Locate alert underscore dev db dot log. So this is my alert log. I can use the locate command or find command or whatever. So again, don't worry about this naming convention and all. We'll again discuss in future or future sessions. So I'll just do VI and go into that alert log and go at the end. So it throw this error message here. When I do alter database mount, I'm trying to do a mount my database from no mount. It says it try to find one control file, which is under past recovery area, unable to obtain the status, no such a file or directory. And then it'll wanna try to find one more control file, which is under Wara data control file two, unable to obtain the status, no such a file or directory. It meaning my database is unable to mount because it is unable to find both of these control files. Fair enough. Go out of this alert log. Move your all the control file back with its original name. Move or remove this backup keyword. So now I'll go to second control file. Move this one. So now both the control files are ready. Now go back to the session here and run the same command, alter database mount. This time your database is able to mount because it is able to read your control files. Right, database is altered. It means it went to mount mode. Now what happened? Initially we started from shutdown to no mount. It read the SP file and then it went to no mount. From no mount to we went to mount mode. So it read control file, it read the control file and it went to mount mode. Now from mount to open mode. In order to do open mode, it has to read the data file and respective read log files. So now I can run this query, whatever query I ran here, select name from with the control file. When your database is mounted, then you can run these queries. Select name from with the control file. I can see control file one, control file two. So now let's say, I can do select name from Vidalar data file. 
So these are my data files. System, sysox, and undo, and user. Again, don't worry about this, all data files. What are these data files and what's the use case? We can discuss in future half, future session. So now these are my data files and then the riddler files. Select member from riddler log file. So these are my riddle log files, six riddle log files. One under one set is under fast query area and one set is under my wire data. So I can quickly go to this location and see all those data files. And go to second session here, LSFNL. So these are my data files. And now I'll go to Redo Logs. I'll go to this online log location for under fast query area. So these are one set of my Redo Log, one, two, three. And then I'll go to fast query area. One is under world data and one is under fast query area. So these are online Redo Log here. These are, these are my another set of Redo Logs. Again, these are called multiplexing of Redo Log, similar to your control file, multiplexing of control file. We call it as a multiplexing of log. Same log will have two copies so that in case of any corruption in one of the log, you have another good copy so that you can recover your database. Right. So now your database is in mount mode. You can open your database. In case of any data files or log files are missing, so your database will not open. So you throw that error message. Your data files or log files are missing. So now since we database started in no mount, we have not run the startup no mount command. We directly ran this ultra database mount so that from no mount, it went to mount mode. So since my database is already mounted, it will not allow you to do the startup or startup open. So since my database is already mounted in no mount to mount, now I can take my database from mount to open directly by running alter database. open so i can run this ultra database open it won't directly open so i no need to shut down and then start using the startup or startup open so again it's going to go for the same option no mount mount and then open if i do this one so instead of that already database is in no mount mode you can run this ultra database open it won't directly take you to open mode All right, your database got open now. So that's a simple demo definition of your database startup sequence from shutdown to no mount, no mount to mount, mount to open. From shutdown to no mount, it'll read SP file, RP file. From no mount to mount, it'll read a control file. From mount to open, it'll read all the data file and the red log files. Those are the dependent files on each of those startup stage or startup sequence of my database. All right, guys, that's it for today's uh, demo. So let's connect on our next session uh, on new topics. Thank you. Take care.